Welcome everybody to IgniteVST.com and in this video we want to arrange a beat. Um, I've already created my main loop of a beat and yeah, let's um, arrange it together and try to make a, a beat out of it with the intro, a part, a hook, stuff like that. So um, this video is not planned. I'm just doing it. We we are doing it together. Um, hopefully you can learn something out of it. Um, one thing I want to tell you. Um, some guys be like, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. But um, in music, in music production, it's all about being creative. There are no do's and don'ts. You can do whatever you like as long as it sounds good at the end. Um, yeah, it's like I said, it's all about being creative. So be creative. Um, try something. Um, yeah. Don't, don't nev never be never be scared to try something new or whatever. So, um, OK, before we get into it, let me show you the main loop I've created. Okay, um, for those who want to know how I made this beat or whatever, um, let's make a rush through the single elements of this beat. Um, the first element I've used in here, the first element I've used in here is the old radius organ from Heat Up Workstation. This is a chord progression, you can see it here. Um, then we have the dope muted bass from Heat Up Workstation. Um, this is the Venus lead from Heat Up Workstation. Oh. The Anson Brass from heat up workstation as well and here we have the strings um the hybrids the hybrid strings oh damn the hybrid strings exactly I've panned the strings to the left and um, the brass a bit to the right to give it to give it a nice stereo image and to leave some room um, in the center of the beat for the drums. Um, so this is a piano, I think. Yes, it's a the vinyl touch piano and this is the vinyl touch piano as well but um, it plays a different melody and as you can hear um, it's jumping from the left to, to the right every time a note gets triggered this is because I've used the um, hot knob in the middle of heat up it makes a sound jumps from the left to the right um this is what is this ah these are the epic choirs 
and I've modified them with the um, gross beat uh, filter from uh, FL Studio and it sounds like this. And as you can see, it's, a, it's the same um, progression as the organs. I've just copied it, make a copy out of it. So let me paste now the, uh, and bring it a bit up. Yeah. Um, it's just a copy of the uh, roads of the organs. Um, and this is a little plug at the end of the beat, the bounce plug from Heat Up Workstation and it fades in and uh, this is a 24k lead um, it's like like a bass because uh, I thought maybe I don't like this bass and I can replace it with this Okay, so um, now we have our main sample or our main loop. In FL Studio there are a lot of ways to arrange a beat. Um, one option is we can copy, we can copy the whole pattern to um, a new pattern, let's say. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we have 10 patterns that are all the same. Um, also, we could create a pattern for every single um, instrument and then, then send, send uh, every pattern into the what is it called um damn I'm I'm oh what's this I'm new to uh, FL12 I've worked with um FL11 all the time and I just I have to figure out how everything works in here or basically it works the same it just it just looks different right so um yeah the playlist so one option we have is we can create single patterns for every part of the beat for the hook the intro the part and so on or we create a single pattern for every instrument and then we have like 20 um, patterns in here and we can play around with this um, but in this video we want to do it with um, patterns for every part of the beat so the first thing we need is an intro right so let's create an intro let's solo this
Okay. Um, so I want to start with only, like I said, this is this is life. This is not planned. We we just do it together. Maybe it works out. Maybe not. And also FL12 is completely new to me. So let's start with, with this as a, as the intro and then uh, what the fuck. And then a second part of the intro um, with the strings and the organ in it. Let's go with this. I have to make this quick because I don't think you want to watch for two hours or something like that. So, yeah, we have to sacrifice um, uh, some stuff maybe or whatever. But Okay, and now we need um, the hook. The hook. Let's... Take a look at it. Okay. Um yeah, like I said, I, I will take the acoustic bass out. Okay, now we have Um, how, how can I paint something in here? Uh, okay. Okay, this is what we have. We have now the intro and the hook. And now we need a part. We need a part, a part. What do we do for the part? Uh, yeah, let's take some stuff out here. Okay. Okay, let's do it like this. So um, now we have now we have another pattern for the part. Okay, let's do this real quick. Let's say this is our part here, 
And this is our hook. And um, now let's take out all the drums from the part. Let's cut them and insert them to another pattern. Oops, and paint them. He, what the fuck? Can I preview this? Yeah, let's listen to it. Okay, <clears throat> now now we have um, a solo pattern for the whole drum kit, and this allows us to um, cut uh, to cut some parts of the drum kit and um, bring in some transi transition transition um, stuff and so on. Just as an idea, so this is a way you can arrange really, really quick um, for demo demo use or whatever. Because the most artists or record labels they want to purchase the whole track out and arrange the beat themselves. And for creating demos, this is a real quick way. To do it let's listen to what we have so far and before we listen let's ah oh, what the fuck let's bring in an effect um what is it called the love filter damn i don't have the the preset I don't know what, what it was. Hmm. Okay. We have to go without the filter. Or well, maybe we try it. Oops. Okay, we go without filter. I don't have the preset I'm using because it's still in FL11.
Okay, so what can we do here? Let's use a new pattern 22 and let's cut this out and this and bring it in here 22. Okay, um, damn, I think I don't have the folder. Mm, let me search for it. Samples. Uh, Okay. And we we purgeon. This is a we purgeon drum kit from our website. I'm looking for some sound effects. Sorry, this is very loud. Okay, let's use let's use this this effect just to show you how you use transition effects. Um, like I said, this is all really quick made here, really quick thrown together stuff. Um, turn it a bit down. Okay, and maybe we should cut this here or here. Okay, sounds dope so far. Let's let's listen to it. It's just a quick arrangement. Um, here we can cut something here, or maybe there. Let's try this.
And one thing um, would be dope to take out. Let's hearing this stutter sound all the time is a bit too much. So let's create a new pattern and take this out. And now we make this one pattern 23. Oops. good so far I had a nice I want to show you some uh, something different what you also can do is you, you can uh, create your custom um, transition effects by using just uh, sound effects from whatever from a car a motorcycle or re re record your um, custom stuff there's a lot of lot of stuff you can do. Um, just play around, try things. You will learn a lot. Let me cut this out and show you this real quick. This is a sound from um, a motorcycle. I mean, it may not fit the Zem in this beat, but to show you what I mean, it should be okay. Okay, trim it a bit, such, um, and let's use it as transition for this part here. Yeah. Okay, now we can uh, send this to a mixer tray. Ah, damn! I don't, I don't have the effects. No. Ah. Okay, maybe this fits. Stereo effect. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, um, let's listen again to the uh, arrangement from the beginning.
Okay, so I have to bring this to an end because otherwise the video um, will be way too long. So when you really arrange a beat, there's a lot more detail you have to bring into it. A lot of automation and effects and all this stuff. But uh, for a first raw arrangement and uh, especially for... Um, beginners this is something really useful i think some there are def some nice informations you can use and like i said in the beginning of this video it's all about being creative there are no do's and don'ts do whatever you like um and try to make the best out of it the most important for you should be that you are happy with what you are doing. This is the most important. Um, if other people like it as well, perfect. If not, hmm, not that perfect. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, it's really, it's important that you do something you like at, at first. It's really um, the most important that you like what you are doing. And yeah, if other guys like it as well, then we have a perfect situation. So, uh, oh, sorry, I'm really tired. So yeah, um, thank you all for watching. And... Um, if you want me to do something, whatever, some special, a special beat you want to see or whatever, let me know. Write me in the comments. I will see what I can do for you. And yeah, head over to ignitevst.com. See what we have there. Some nice stuff. And yeah, bye bye.